Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from Corvallis, Oregon where I met here today with Oregon State University Extension Specialist Nick Wyman who talked about the brown marmorated stink bug that has been spreading across the western states and wreaking havoc in both urban and rural areas and Oregon growers are concerned about what kind of damage this can cause in the orchard. Good news is it appears that there's a parasitoid that can help get rid of this pest and here's Nick Wyman to explain. Brown marmorated stink bug first came to Oregon in 2004, at least that's when it was first detected and since that time it was sort of just in the urban areas but in 2012 we started finding it on farms including hazelnut orchards, in vineyards, in fruit orchards. And since that time, there have been more and more reports of damage every year. And we have a massive problem in urban areas with uh, limited applications of adults, which come to human structures in high numbers and drive people crazy all winter. Um, on farms, sometimes they aggregate in outbuildings and uh, farmhouse or other structures around the farm, and that seems to be a uh, problem for uh, local populations moving into orchards during the growing season. As far as what they do on hazelnuts, the adults, they really don't have any trouble penetrating the hardened shell of the nut um, to feed on the kernel. And we have been finding them season long in high numbers in some hazelnut orchards in the northern Willamette Valley. And depending on the timing of when they're feeding on that kernel, you see different effects. So if they feed early on in the season, then we tend to get um, empty shells or blanks. And mid-season feeding tends to result in poor nut fill or shrivel. And then finally, the late season damage, which we're seeing the most of right now, it will result in corky or stained tissue on the kernel surface, which is undetectable from the outside just looking at the shell. Um, growers have been wondering how we're going to deal with this problem and it looks like uh, management of our key pest, which is filberworm, does not um, overlap that well in terms of products. So the products we use for filberworm are not that effective on brown marmorated stink bug. And so I'm part of a national grant where we're looking at different uh, management tactics. And one that's coming up that's looking promising is attract to kill where we're using the pheromone of the stink bug to attract bugs to a tree that could then be sprayed out or perhaps the tree is uh, treated with uh, systemic insecticide so when the bugs feed on it they die. Another way that this technology could be used is by attracting stink bugs to a surface or a synthetic surface where there is an insecticide residue present to kill them. But probably the most promising option is biological control. And for a number of years, we've been looking at a parasitoid that is from the home range of brown marmorated and stink bug in Asia that is very effective in limiting the population growth in the home range. And this parasitoid has been brought into quarantine in uh, multiple facilities across the U.S., including at Oregon State, where researchers have been examining how specific this parasitoid will be to the stink bug um, and taking the necessary precautions to evaluate the risk of releasing something like that. But that effort was kind of undercut in the last couple of years as this uh, parasitoid has arrived to our ports on its own. So it's coming from Asia on its own. We know that and is now established in the Northern Willamette Valley. And so last year we had a chance to get the parasitoid in culture and we got clearance from the um, federal and state authorities to redistribute this agent and so that I think is our best hope for successfully managing this pest long term because the problem is the stink bugs do really well in urban and natural environments and then they move out into the agriculture. So to have a biocontrol agent that can control the pest in all those environments is going to have a huge benefit for agriculture. Thank you, Nick. Stay current on what's going on in your industry by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com. <laughs>